baptisms. There's different stages in faith. First step is to repent. We must recognize that we are a sinner. John wrote, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just or righteous to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Paul wrote, God proved his love in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So before we ever repented or realized that we were a sinner, Christ died for us. And once we realize that we're, we have sinned, we've lived a life as, as a sinner, when we confess that to God, the Scripture's promise is that He is faithful to cleanse us from that. Not only the sin that we've committed, but also He wipes out the label and the identity of being a sinner. This doesn't mean that the impact of sin or, or what's been done to us because of other people's sins on our life doesn't mean that that goes away but we can begin to heal from that. John's baptism was repentance. So whoever did that, whoever came into that baptism and repented, then their heart was ready to accept Jesus in the next stage of faith. Paul wrote, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So repentance is still necessary for us today. That's our first step. It enables our hearts to be ready to receive what God is going to do by giving us his free gift of salvation. And that comes with eternal life when we choose to make Jesus Lord of our life. 